Jake. I'm Tamfi. I'm Becky. Today we're here at Bolton Castle. To see the truly amazing market scene. Let's go and have a look. This is the poster for Mortal Coil, the band Shakespeare's in at the beginning of the movie. These fish really smell. <laughs> Anyone for rat pie? We're getting our two a week. Vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> So what's your job in the movie? My job is I'm the co-producer and what I do is I hire a load of really brilliant people and then they do all the work. <laughs> okay, so let's go and see the production truck. Good to see you, man. Good to see you. Nice to see you. Okay, this is Jamie, Jamie, our second Hi. AD. But well, we're all about organising everything that happens sort of uh, tomorrow. So today we're shooting and so Adam is the first AD. He's on the floor. He's running the floor and I'm organising everything for tomorrow, the day after, and everything next week. I only actually found out yesterday that you don't film films in like a sequence. Mm. So the way films are actually shot is we, uh, we tend to shoot them in the most convenient way, based on all the restrictions that we have with cast and locations and things like that. What we do is we break it down into its smaller parts and then we shoot that completely out of sequence. So a professional actor, they can get their heads around shooting different parts, different characters at different times. And so it sort of works out uh, better, to, uh, it makes it practical for us to be able to shoot a full schedule. So this is the unit base, and this is where, where everything, everybody gets ready. Everybody arrives here in the morning, they all get ready to go on to set. So I'll just show you around. First of all, this is the makeup trailer. Makeup where we put wigs and beards and makeup on people. <laughs> well, I'm a hair and makeup artist, and mainly it's mainly facial and beards and wigs in this job, and dirtying down. So there's a lot of um, grubby characters. Um, so this is another one of the beards. I'll show you on Matt. Which is another one of his characters. And they sort of glue on. And when when you glue it on, you have to make sure all the lace disappears so that you, so it looks really natural. The hair is sourced from different places. Some of it's yak hair, and um, the wigs. Most of them are European hair that you, that's been bought in, and they get knotted. Human so, hair. Yeah, it's human hair. It's one way of making money: is just to grow your hair long, and then. Yeah. And so hair. I don't know who you get in touch with to do that. <laughs> you have to Google it, I suppose. In fact, I mean, here yeah. we go. I'm actually getting my hair cut on Saturday. Penny. Yeah. So. Yeah. Let's um, let's make some calls. <laughs> This is the costume truck. This is not where we keep all the costumes. This is only costumes for the principal cast. Do you have to order them specially? Do you go around no. looking for them? Do you go to like car boot sales to find really quirky, cool ones? You, you do that on some films, but for a Tudor film, you can't really find Tudor costumes in a car boot sale. <laughs> so um, we go to costume houses. There's some big costume houses in London who specialise in costume, period costumes. And they can't find all the costumes there, so sometimes we have to have them made. Um, so how do you get the costumes to look so authentic and used? Well, particularly with costumes that we've made, obviously they look brand new and they wouldn't look authentic at all. So we have to have people working to break them down. We have, we have people whose whole job is just breaking down costumes. I'm here in the makeup studios and I'm about to be transformed into a Tudor character, just like the ones on the set of Bill. All right, Jake, so we're going to use this moustache on you. So we'll use that and we'll make you have a pointy beard. Like yeah. a Spanish goon. That'll look cool. Yes. First stage two, and I'm going to actually do your neck. Thirteen. Thirteen. Lovely. I'm going to take you over there, and we're going to have a look at some of the costumes. Okay, let's do this. Come on, Jake, hurry up. I've become my true personality. So what they've done is they've got all the costumes, there's loads of layers. It feels... I, I don't know, it feels weird. I feel a bit like an elf with the pointy shoes. 